So how do we differentiate functions of higher order? Now let's assume that we have a function y equals u times v where u and v are all functions of x. Now let's try to find the derivative of y with respect to x. So that is given by y prime and that is equal to now because we have the product of two functions we are going to use the product rule so first of all we are going to hold v and then we differentiate u that is u prime plus we hold u and then we differentiate v so that we have v prime so therefore we have y prime equals v times u prime plus u times v prime and we call this the first derivative of y again let's try to find the derivative of this function that is the derivative of y prime so we call that y prime prime and that is equal to here also we have the product of two functions v and then u prime and then u and v prime so let's apply the product rule here so first we are going to hold u prime we differentiate v so that we have v prime plus we hold v and then we differentiate u prime so that we have u prime prime plus to this term first of all we are going to hold v prime and then we differentiate u so that we have u prime plus we hold u we differentiate v prime so that we have v prime prime now let's simplify this so first we have u v prime prime plus we have u prime v prime and then v prime u prime now because the two are multiplying each other then it means that they are actually the same thing now 2 times 3 is equal to 6 and then 3 times 2 is also equal to 6 so we can say that we have twice of u prime v prime plus we have u prime prime v so u prime prime v now we call this the second derivative of y now what happens when we find the derivative of y prime prime so let's do that together let's try to find the derivative of y prime prime so that is y prime 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 and that is equal to we are going to apply the product rule to this term this term and also this term because they are all products of two functions so for this term we have we are going to hold v prime prime we differentiate u so that we have u prime plus we hold u we differentiate v prime prime and then we have v prime 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 plus we have two outside we hold v prime we differentiate u prime we have u prime prime plus we hold u prime we differentiate v prime we have v prime prime plus to this term we hold v we differentiate u prime prime that is u prime 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 plus we hold u prime prime we differentiate v we have v prime so we have v prime prime u prime plus u v prime 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 plus we multiply two across we have two v prime u prime prime plus two u prime v prime prime plus v u prime 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 plus u prime prime v prime so now let's simplify so we have u v prime 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 plus we have v prime prime u prime and then v prime prime u prime so we add this to that and that gives 3 u prime v prime prime plus we have 2 v prime u prime prime and then v prime u prime prime so we can add this and then that together 
so that we have three u prime prime v prime plus u prime 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 v so this is also called the third derivative of y now considering the terms for each of the derivatives that is first derivative second derivative and then the third derivative you realize that we can relate this to the pascal triangle so for the pascal triangle we can have one on the first row and then we have one one on the second row notice that the outer coefficients are supposed to be one next that is on the third row we have one one as the outer coefficients and then for the middle we are going to add one to one and that gives two next we have one one on the outer we add one to two we have three two to one we also have three so you can continue on and on and on now looking at the various coefficients we have for each of the derivatives you realize that the coefficient 1 1 corresponds to the first derivative we have coefficient of this to be 1 coefficient of this also to be 1 the coefficients 1 2 1 also corresponds to the second derivative we have 1 2 1 and then we have 1 3 3 1 also corresponding to the third derivative that is 1 3 3 1 so having this idea in mind let's try a couple of examples so let's try our first example given the function y equals x cubed times e to the power 2x we are going to find the cube y over the x cube so first of all let u be equal to x to the power 3 and then v be equal to e to the power 2x therefore we have the cube y divided by the x cube to be equal to now considering the pascal triangle we know that the first row we have one second row we have one one and then third row we have one one at the outer we add one to one we have two and then next we have one 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 plus two is three two plus one is also three and we know that this corresponds to the third derivative this corresponds to the third derivative so it means that we are going to have four different terms with the coefficients one three three one so first we have one times u times v prime 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 plus three times u prime times v prime prime plus three times u prime prime times v prime and then lastly we have one one times u prime 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 times v now at this point let's try to find the first second and third derivatives of u and then v respectively so we have u to be equal to x cube therefore u prime is equal to 3x square u prime prime is equal to 6x u prime 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 is equal to 6 for v we have v to be equal to e to the power 2x v prime is equal to we differentiate the exponent we have 2 so 2 times e to the power 2x v prime prime is equal to we differentiate this we have 2 2 times 2 is 4 so 4 e to the power 2x and then v prime 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 that becomes 2 times 4 is 8 so 8 to the power 2x now let's substitute this into this equation so we have the cube y divided by the x cube 
to be equal to we have one times u and then u is x cube times v prime 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 so that is 8 e to the power 2x plus 3 times u prime 3x square times v prime prime 4e to the power 2x plus we have 3 times u prime prime that is 6x and then times v prime 2e to the power 2x plus 1 times u prime 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 which is 6 and then times v so that is e to the power 2x now let's simplify this 1 times 1 is 1 1 times 8 is 8 so we have 8 x cube e to the power 2x plus 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 4 is 36 we have x square and then e to the power 2x plus 3 times 2 is 6 6 times 6 is also 36 x times e to the power 2x plus 1 times 6 is 6 times 1 is also 6 and then e to the power 2x now let's simplify further so basically we can factor out e to the power 2x and then we have 8x cube plus 36x square plus 36x plus 6 so basically this is the cube y divided by the x cube now let's move on to the second example so let's also try this example we have the function y equals x to the power 5 times cos 2x so we want to find the 4y divided by the x4 so let's try this together first of all let u be equal to x to the power 5 and then v to be equal to cos 2x therefore we have the 4y divided by the x4 to be equal to now considering the Pascal's triangle for the third derivative we know we have the coefficients 1 3 3 1 so the coefficients for the fourth derivative we have 1 1 at the outer we add 1 to 3 we have 4 3 plus 3 6 and then 3 plus 1 is 4 therefore we have the coefficients 1 4 6 4 1 so basically we are going to have five terms so we have one times u times v prime 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 plus four times u prime times v prime 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 plus six times u prime prime v prime prime plus four times u prime 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 v prime plus 1 times u prime 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 v so at this point let's find the first second third and fourth derivatives of u and v so we have u to be equal to x to the power 5 therefore u prime is equal to 5x to the power 4 u prime prime 20x to the power 3 u prime 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 60 x square and then u prime 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 to be equal to 120 x now to v we have v to be equal to cos 2x 
so v prime is equal to you differentiate this you have two when you differentiate cos you have negative sign so negative two sine two x v prime prime when you differentiate this you have two so that becomes negative four when you differentiate sine you have cos so cos two x v prime 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 so we differentiate this we have two and then when you differentiate cos you have negative sign so negative negative becomes positive so that becomes positive eight positive eight sine two x and then for v prime 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 you differentiate this you have two two times eight is sixteen so 16 you differentiate sign you have cos so cos 2x now let's substitute this into this equation so we have d4y over dx4 equals 1 times u we have u to be x to the power 5 times v prime 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 so that is 16 cos 2x plus 4u prime so 4 times 5x to the power 4 times v prime 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 so that is 8 sine 2x plus 6 u prime prime that is 20x cube times v prime prime negative 4 cos 2x plus 4 prime 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 that is 60 x square times v prime that is negative 2 sine 2x plus 1 times u prime 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 so that is 120 x and then times v and that is cos 2x so let's simplify further so we have 1 times 16 times 1 that is still 16 so 16 x to the power 5 times cos 2x plus 4 times 5 is 20 20 times 8 is 160 so 160 x to the power 4 sine 2x and then we have minus here so minus 6 times 20 is 120 times 4 is 480 so we have minus 480 x to the power 3 cos cos 2x and then we also have negative here so minus 4 times 60 is 240 times 2 is 480 so we have negative 480 x square sine 2x plus 120 x cos 2x so that is d4y divided by dx4